Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Decree 56 for this year, appointing the following directors of the at the Ministry of the Interior: Colonel Hamad Ali Al Kabi, Colonel Hussein Ali Al Jassim, Lieutenant Colonel Walid Mbarak Zwayed, Lieutenant Colonel Daij Abdullah Al Naham, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullah Ahmed Al Isa, Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Mahmoud Yusuf, Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Ali Daraj. Lieutenant Colonel Walid Matar Al Buflasa, Lieutenant Colonel Thabit Ahmed Bou Ali, Lieutenant Colonel Adil Ibrahim Al Dosiri, Lieutenant Colonel Abdurrahman Mohammed Al Maouda, Major Hamad Mohammed Al Hajri, Major Hassan Ibrahim Al Malki, Major Abdul Aziz Abdullah Al Sabah, Major Mohammed Abdul Wahid Darwish. The edict stipulates that the Minister of Interior designates the newly appointed directors in the vacant directorates. His Royal Highness issued Decree 57 appointing Ali Ahmed Amini as Director of Crime Prevention at the Interior Ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 58 appointing Khalid Abdul Latif Haji Nasrallah as a Director of Engineering Services and Investment at the Northern Governance and Hamad Jum'a Al Fazazi as Director of Engineering Services and Investments at the Southern Go Go Governance. And His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued Decree 59 appointing Khulud Abdullah Hamada as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the Southern Governance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace a number of Gulf Cooperation Council and Arab countries ambassadors, chairmen of associations and civil society institutions, businesses, intellectuals and media figures, state officials and scores of citizens. He affirmed that the unity of the Gulf is an essential goal in light of the security and economic challenges that face the region which can only be overcome uh, through cooperation and unity. He stated that the next GCC summit to be held in Bahrain will strengthen the cooperation and cohesion between the Gulf countries. His Royal Highness called to enhance Arab unity in order to face the serious challenges imposed on the region. The Prime Minister received congratulations from GCC and Arab ambassadors on the occasion of receiving the Grand Star in Gold of the Austrian Order of Merit granted to His Royal Highness by the Royal Habsburg family and the Hollabrunn City Council in Austria in honor of his prominent role in the humanitarian field to maintain world peace. On behalf of the ambassadors, Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, affirmed that the honoring of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is an honoring to the whole Arab nation because of His Royal Highness's distinguished leadership on the regional and international levels. The Prime Minister affirmed that any honoring he receives from countries and international organizations is an honoring to the people of Bahrain, who are the main reason behind every national achievement. He commended the Bahraini people for standing in the face of extremism and for being an example of patriotism and unity against all that threats that security and stability of the kingdom. His Royal Highness added that the efforts of the government are aimed to meet the demands of those people in order to achieve a better future. The Prime Minister reviewed with the audience the latest developments on the regional and international levels. He commended the role of friendly countries in supporting Bahrain to achieve safety and security and maintain peace, affirming the Kingdom's keenness in developing its cooperation and coordination with those countries in international forums and in various areas of trade.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the general authority for Husseiniya processions led by the head of the authority Ahmed Muhsin bin Saloum. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the authority and its members in reviving religious ceremonies. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is an example of social harmony and the sense of the one family between all citizens. He expressed pride in the citizens' keenness on protecting national gains, adding that uh, citizens' uh, joint efforts built the development of the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the religious, social and national role of places of worship, stressing that all ministries do their utmost to facilitate procedures of religious ceremonies. He praised the cooperation shown between Matsums and government bodies to organize Husseiniya processions, which highlights the noble values of Ashura season. General authority for Husseiniya processions expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his yearly support and directives to all ministries, authorities and government bodies to aid the success of religious ceremonies. The authority affirmed that His Royal Highness's meeting with its members proves His Royal Highness's belief in the values of pluralism, tolerance and religious coexistence between the citizens, adding that these values come in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. The authority also affirmed their support to His Majesty the King and the government's efforts to reinforce national unity on all levels. The Speaker of the Shura Council chaired today the weekly meeting. The Council approved a draft law on protecting the society from the immunodeficiency syndrome and another draft law on protecting the rights of people living with the virus. The Council then discussed a report regarding laws of registration and safety rules of small ships and discussed another report on election of municipal council members' system. The commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at the Fatel Hotel this evening commandant of the Sandhurst Royal Military Academy, Major General Paul Nansen, and a number of graduates from sisterly and friendly countries in the presence of Commander of the Royal Guard Force, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who are currently visiting Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the graduates underlying the reputation of Sandhurst Military Academy and its distinct a role in preparing and qualifying officers and providing them with various military science and knowledge to keep up with all the developments in the modern military field. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a dinner in honor of the graduates of Sandhurst Royal Military Academy. Present were a number of BDF officers and graduates from Sandhurst Academy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, received a written letter from the Interior Minister and General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The letter was delivered by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. They discussed matters of common concern between the two countries. The reception was attended by the advisor of the Saudi Interior Ministry, His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Saud bin. Naif bin Abdul Aziz. Injaz Al Arab Organization announced that Bahrain has finished all preparations to host Injaz Al Arab's 2016 10th Regional Youth Competition, launching on November 22nd. This came in the press conference shared by Chief Executive Officer of Injaz Al Bahrain, Sheikh Hissa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, with the presence of representatives of government and private supporting authorities, where she indicated that this competition is held in Bahrain for the first time, and attended by more than 400 guests of government, officials, and businessmen from the outside of Bahrain and with the participation of more than 120 young boys and girls from 13 countries of the Middle East and North Africa, competing to win one of the nine awards of the competition. Sheikh Hizla affirmed that this event is an unusual opportunity for Arab youth for the acquisition of the best practices in business management from real life that will build confidence to make them ready for the competitive job market. 
Mharag Municipal Council held its ordinary session to review the budget allocated for the development project for cities and villages for the years 2015 and 2016 and the allocation of two properties in Basaitin for establishing a major events hall that was ordered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa during his visit to Mharag. The council recommended establishing a youth center that offers various services to develop the skills of the youth in Block 204. The council also called for developing recre recreational facilities in the area and discussed maintenance works and emergencies in roads and streets. The council also discussed a plan regarding allocating suction pumps and tanks over Mharag.